Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today in this video, I will be showing you guys how to make animated UI in Roblox Studio. So let's get right into it. Make sure to like and subscribe for more content like this. Let's go. So first, you're gonna want to make the UI. So I'm just gonna insert a strange UI, rename it main UI, add a, I'm just gonna add a text button. I'm not gonna rename it. And I'm just gonna like put it like that. And make it like 0.1. And for this is probably, and for this you're probably gonna want it to be scaled. So if you go to device, it will, yeah, like that. And then add a script. And then local UI equals script.parent. Local, let's get the hover and click sound. I'm just gonna rename this to hover and then click sound. And then this is the click. And then here, local click sound equals script dot click. Local hover sound equals script dot hover and now local function link sounds b b dot mouse enter connect function hover play and then b dot mouse Click mouse button one. Let's just do activated. Activated connect function. Click sound play. And then instead of doing UI, let's do local player GUI equals game. Game get service get service players dot local player dot player GUI and then player GUI dot child added connect function C link sounds B, I mean C. So now when, okay, that does not work. So let's just do print C. All right, I'm guessing this is loading. Let's just do descendant added actually. Okay, so that's not working. Dot descend, player GUI dot descended added. Dot descendant added. Let me see what is going on. try moving the script into starter GUI. Okay, that does not work. It's also not printing this. So let me see what the problem is. So let's, bef before descendant added, let's do four underscore comma UI in I pairs. Player, 
clear GUI get descendants do link sounds UI and then if B is a text button or B is a image button then we will do this don't know if you can hear so I'm gonna don't know if you can hear but it is working I'm just gonna turn the sound up like two so that has a sound working now let's get the tweening to work so they are actually animated so local info equals tween info dot new so the time is going to be 0.1 enum dot using style dot quad comma enum dot using direction dot out comma so that's the info and then local tween service equals game the service tween service And then local tween equals tween service create. And before and after the it, it if statement, let's do local OG size equals B dot size. So tween service create instance is B, comma info comma squiggly brackets size equals og size plus udim2 dot from scale 0.01 comma 0.01 and then tween play and then we can and then let's actually create uh, another one called b dot mouse leave connect function oh whoops and copy this but instead of adding udm2 from scale let's just do size equals og size and let's do mouse button one down connect function and then minus udm2 dot from scale 0 0.01 comma 0 0.01 and then play b dot mouse button one up connect function oh oops connect what am I doing? Connect function tween. But instead of doing this, let's just do OG size as well. And click sound play. And that should work. So, yep, as you can see, the size changes. And there's no spamming too because it's getting the size before we're actually tweening it. So it just adds to that size and sets this size to that. So there's absolutely zero spam. So let's just set the anchor point to 0 0.5. So the size actually changes from, like, yeah, from the center. And if we want to make a frame that pops up, I'm just gonna create a frame and like scale it like that. Not add constraint. Scale that, unit conversion, bang, bang. 
if we want to make it like a frame up here, let me first set the position and size. Then let's create a new function called a local function between frame and an F for frame. If F not equal nil, then F dot visible equals not f dot visible and then if you want to make this tween which i'm not going to do you can just like copy this and change the settings but and change the settings and stuff that you need to and then yeah and then inside the mouse button one up first before we do the f dot visible, if wait no, we don't have to do it there. And then if oh oops, if script dot parent wait for child main UI wait for child text button. Wait, hold up. Let's not do that actually. Local frame, like that. For underscore comma UI in I pairs. Clear GUI get descendants do. If UI is a frame is a GUI object, then, wait, and UI.name equal equals B.name, then we will do that. Wait, no, it can't be GUI object, it has to be frame frame equals UI, then break. If frame, then we will tween frame, and then frame. So now, it won't work because this frame is not the same name as the text button. So I'm just going to rename this to test and then rename the text button to test as well. So test. And now, as you can see, it works. And everything works as intended. If even if we create a new script and then like task.wait2 local local t equals instance dot new text button comma script dot parent like even if we do that and then wait for it to you know it will show there but let me actually remove this print real quick and I'm just gonna set the like t dot position equals zero point UDM two dot from scale zero point five comma zero point five t dot background trans transparency equals zero. Like let me or, let me get Why is it like that? Text button. Oh wait, that is because of the size. Let me just like t t dot size equals UDM two 
the from scale 0 0.1 to the 0 0.1. Like even if we create a new thing, it will still work because it checks when a descendant is added. So yeah, that is basically it for how to make animated GUI objects in Roblox Studio. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.